Bram Stoker was born in Dublin, Ireland on November 8, 1847. He was a sickly child, bedridden for the first seven years of his life, whose mother told him stories from Irish myth and legend to help him pass time. But Stoker grew into a robust young man who studied at Trinity College in Dublin and participated in athletics, eventually taking a position with the Irish Civil Service. Soon after, he began writing as a freelance drama critic. In 1878, Stoker married a famous beauty, Florence Balcombe, and shortly thereafter, the renowned Shakespeare actor Henry Irving offered him the job of managing the Lyceum Theatre in London. Stoker's organizational ability enabled him to excel in this position. He even traveled for business to the United States, where he met Walt Whitman and Mark Twain. Stoker continued to write nonfiction and began to write short horror stories, but his early publications are hardly remembered today. In about 1890, he began extensive research for a novel originally called The Undead, which was published as Dracula in 1897. Today, Dracula is a household name, and Dracula's literary descendants are in movies, television series, hundreds of novels and stories, anime, and even children's shows. But the novel did not make Stoker financially successful in his lifetime or bring him immediate literary fame. Regarded as an entertaining novel, Dracula received praise for its imaginative settings and thrilling scenes of vampirism, but it also received harsh criticism. After Dracula, Stoker continued to write fiction, producing six more novels, some of which were later adapted as movies and non-fiction works. He published his last novel, The Lair of the White Worm, only a few months before his death on April 20th, 1912. Ironically, Dracula's fame began its steady growth because in 1922, German filmmaker F.W. Murnau released Nosferatu, a film that drew heavily on Dracula without permission. Florence Stoker, now a widow, engaged in a battle over copyrights that brought Dracula to the attention of many readers and of Hollywood. With the production of Todd Browning's 1931 film Dracula, starring Bela Lugosi in the title role after his performance of the character on stage, the Count's reputation was finally established. <laughs>